All right, uh, up next we have uh, Adrian Carter from Shark Teeth Films. And when we talked on the phone, I didn't think Adrian was going to be up here, quite frankly. And that's why I forgot. Uh, because I, he was, he's a film production company, and I'm like, well, there's nothing really, that's not really cross me, well, we're all doing that, yada, yada, yada. And he goes, well, actually, I got this cool iPhone, this the cool iPad app that we use with our clients uh, for workflow. It allows them to, we give them an iPad, and they can watch the animations in real time and approve them. So when we're working with big networks, I'm like, oh, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> so I'm going to let... Um, Adrian tell you about it, but I think this is some really cool technology because we're spending a lot of time in cross-media working out how we can work how we can work workflow essentially how we can compress it and make it much more efficient. Take it away. Great. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Adrian Carter, as Gavin was saying. Uh, I'm a director and producer and uh, creative director of Shark Teeth Films. And I'm here to talk today about uh, Sharkproof, which is an iPad app we developed uh, to communicate better with our customers. Um, Sharkproof is a portable party, portal into our studio. It's a secure channel of communication between us and our clients. So it allows us to share a viewing experience with them wherever they are. Uh, because this right here, it's attached to a cable, is, uh, is a device designed for media consum consumption. And it's an amazing thing to watch clips on. This makes communicating with us easy because uh, these things, you don't have to worry about downloading. Is it, was it, do I have the plug-in, QuickTime, whatever, all these things that people that are making media don't want to have to worry about. So what is Shark Teeth Films? Shark Teeth Films, we're content creators and producers. I founded the company in 2008. We make animation, live action, and lots of things in between. Uh, and we work for the TV industry, and uh, we do lots of stuff on the internet and cross-platform. And we work with networks, advertising agencies, media companies, marketers, and uh, it's always, there's always new categories every day. So I'll just turn on the iPad here, and this is destined to not work, as it's a live demo, but you're all in the same position, so bear with me. So here we go. This is the app here. I'm going to just launch it up. And there we go. We can see a few of our projects there. And the way it's roughly set up is we have these receptacles along the bottom here. Excuse me, I'm going to look at this while I do it. I guess I can do this. And along the top is the viewer. So we generally use this for three stages of workflow right now. We often work with animatics, offlines, and online. So I'm not going to get into too much what that is. But there's stages of approval that we need people to sign off on before we move to the next stage, particularly for our advertising clients. So these little receptacles here, as we work at the start of a project, they are loaded up and nothing's in them. As the work gets completed, they get populated. So it's great because our clients know when, when to expect work and they know where to get it and they have a visual reminder. And what's really cool about the iPad, in my opinion, is that it's also a, a, almost a physical thing that you can touch. It's somehow kind of different when you can slide it around. So I'm just going to switch to landscape mode here. Hopefully it works with me. There we go. This is from a feature we were working on recently. So I'll just show you an example of how it streams back and, or how it may fail streaming back. It's a project we did for MTV. Audio is a little quiet, if you can turn that up. That's a baby Sasquatch, in case you're wondering what exactly that is. <laughs> so as I was saying, let me just get this to orient back. Uh, right now, we mostly use it for animatics, offlines, and onlines. Uh, but we're quickly expanding its use for casting selects. We use it for character design. We use it for wardrobe. Uh, we have a big project coming up where we're using it for dailies. So all this thing, all this visual information that we deal in, uh, it's all flowing through here. 
So for our user experience, this is uh, developed by uh, Endloop, Sys uh, Endloop Studio, so you can not make out their logo down there. They're a great uh, iPhone and iPad developer in, here in Toronto. They're known well for uh, an app they made called iMockups. And uh, I really liked their philosophy because they, they, they say that every element on the, of design on the iPad is important, from graphic design to animation, touch sensitivity, overall feel. It is something you can hold, even our little media clips that we're sending out. 30 seconds, wow, okay. So implications, we, we know what you're looking at. You're not looking at some old version of the shot that's been sitting around on your computer. We know what it is, we know what it looks like when you're holding it in, in your hand, we know what it sounds like when you're holding it in your hand. You know where and when to get it. It's foolproof, relatively. Um, it's not in the App Store yet, It's because it's dead simple. Each application of it is custom made for that particular client. So you just turn it on, hit the button, and all your stuff shows up. It's a Trojan horse. For right now, it's one pillar, an overall workflow. We could build it as a product, but we're going to make it for ourselves first, and we'll see if, where it goes from there. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Just move you over there. Okay. We'll bring the next one up. Thank we'll you. bring up Jacob this time, the real Jacob. All right, any questions for Adrian? Yes, in the back there. Is it, uh, is it based on Final Cut Server technology? Okay. Does everyone know what Final Cut? Well, Final Cut Pro is an editing software that's used on Mac, built by Apple. Go ahead. Right. It isn't, uh, it isn't yet, but it does use XML. So we do Final Cut's uh, standard format is XML. So that's part of our next integration is to, is to work it in there and use, use the, uh, ultimately Final Cut is a glorified XML editor. Uh, and so we can, we can, translate from one to the next. So we can automatically populate it directly from Final Cut, if that answers your question. Doug. Are you planning to use any uh, collaboration tools in the iPad application on new versions? Yeah, like I said. This oh, wait a second. Oh, are you planning to use any <laughs> collaboration tools on the next version of iPad? And I think I asked you the same question, too. Would, you know, are people going to be able to mark it and say, oh, change this note, or make yeah. the colors better? or? Exactly, yeah. I mean, this is, uh, as I was just rushing through at the end there, this is a Trojan horse. We want people to get used to holding this and, and looking for their stuff on here. Um, then once people get used to it, we'll start building that stuff up because that's definitely the next stage, obviously. Hitting yes, approved, no, not approved, here's your notes, here's, uh, you know, or here's, here's my feedback on the casting or wardrobe or whatever it is. So certainly that's, that's going to be part of it. Now and you, on other app platforms as well. You actually give this to the network. You send them an iPad, right? Because yeah. you can't download the app. I went and tried to download it yeah. as, like an idiot. <laughs> and it's like, it's not available. Yeah. I'm like, well, of course not, right? It's proprietary. So you actually send them an iPad. They must be pretty happy about that. And yeah. then, you tell, then they, they just carry on and they're very happy with it? Yeah, it's, it makes us popular. What are some of the challenges <laughs> with it? What are some of the problems that you've seen? Well, like any computer, you know, it crashes. You have to restart it. The Wi-Fi doesn't always work. The 3G doesn't always work. It's still a computer. It's trying to be an appliance, and it's the closest computer to an appliance that I've seen yet. But it's not quite there yet, which is part of the reason we're not full-featured product yet. Other questions? Nope. Great. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.